Uh, hello, my name is Dan McAuliffe. I'm from Whitechurch, uh, County Cork. Uh, our main thing during the summer is bale silage. Um, we also mow in front of another contractor, um, picking up silage. He's doing about two, two and a half thousand acres a year. Um, but the main objective for me is the bales, and I needed mowers in front of balers. Um, main thing is when you get a day's rain, you need to get things knocked fast, and you need all mowers out very fast. And that's the one beauty about the front and back combination. The front and back combination can be worked on a 180 horsepower tractor, but I still have two trails, mowers, they're crone trail mowers, 10 foot ones. They can do most of the, the swapping work it needs to be. I went for the pull type front mower versus the crone's original type with the, cut, with the springs on the arms. I wanted floatability. Um, a lot of what we're doing at Baylor is inside in paddocks and farmers and rollers don't go together around here anymore. They don't have time. Um, you want a machine that can lift fast when it hits an object and move, move with the ground floor. And I am very happy with the crone, the way it's, it's performing very, very well for me. Um, I looked at other mowers. Um, it was down to the crone and there was one other make, but I thought the, um, the safe cut bed we had been in the two trail mowers for the last number of years and that's just wins out all the options in my eyes. Um, you hit an object, you're going quarter of an hour max. Um, not massive expense. You have four or five in there inside in the cab of the tractor, sets of roll pins and you you literally open a few balls, uh, take out what you have, tighten up your nut, bang in your roll pins and away you go. The side mounted mower goes lovely with the front mower because you don't have to be thinking about anything else in the road on your front mower. Um, if you want to swing in a gap, you can either back in the gap and you have a tractor dead straight to back in a 10 foot gap exactly. Um, on the road, if you see something, it's a flick of the steering wheel and you're into the ditch and you're out of everyone's way. And the side mount of more is in behind the wheel of the tractor. You don't have to be thinking about it. The hydraulic canisters work very well. They float beautiful on the ground. It lifts when it needs to lift when the wheels of the tractor go in. You can still feel the weight of the mower is still on the tractor as the tractor is inside in a hollow and the mower is lifted up and as well as that when the, mo when the tractor wheels come up onto the hump the mower can still go away from it and it comes back as well lovely. Um, there's the odd hole in the field where a bull or an animal might be rooting and you just see the mower just glide lovely and the way I look at it is the pull type versus the other type is when it hits something and it wants to lift it has the option of going back as well as lifting. Where the old crone, I just thought it had to lift something, had to hit something and lift. The only option I had was straight up. And I just thought if we're moving on at kind of 12 kilometers an hour, which we were most of the time, um, 12 kilometers isn't speed compared to when you're going with a trail more. You would have to give your, your machine full ability to move when it needs to move. And I think it has, a, has all the movability that it has. And I'm very happy with it.